Late last week, we reported on law enforcement making two massive fentanyl busts in Mesa County. Our Michael Lagerwell spoke with Sheriff Todd Rowell about what's being done to keep the drug out of our community. On Wednesday, May 10th, Colorado law enforcement agencies made two massive drug busts in Mesa County. We've taken an aggressive approach to fentanyl. Just before 10 p.m. on May 10th, officers with the Colorado State Patrol pulled over a blue Ford Taurus on I-70 for speeding. Driving the car was 24-year-old Ramon Cecina Valdez. Law enforcement estimated they recovered 100,000 fentanyl pills weighing 25 pounds and 75 pounds of meth, with some pills right next to an 8-year-old child. A stark increase from the total haul in all of 2021, emblematic of a troubling trend. 20 21, we seized 30,000 pills. Mesa County Sheriff Todd Rowles told me MCSO fentanyl seizures have exponentially increased over the past three years. Last year, we seized 160,000 pills. And only five months into 2023, the numbers are even more staggering. And this year, unfortunately, we've seized um, over 400,000 fentanyl pills. Just 30 minutes after the first bust on May 8th, Local law enforcement secured a search warrant for a rented residence on the 800 block of Chapita Avenue. Inside that home, they found 13 ounces of fentanyl pills in bags of 100 to 200 pills each, approximately 40 grams of meth, and an illegal firearm. Officers arrested 26-year-old Raul Lazara Raga. But it's not just about the arrests. As long as there's people wanting it, it's going to be supplied here. So we've worked with the county um, and with some private partners um, to increase substance abuse awareness. Cecina Valdez and Lazar Raga are facing a litany of charges, including but not limited to possession with intent to distribute meth and fentanyl conspiracy and for Cecina Valdez, child abuse. First on the Western Slope, Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News.